Here's your Storm Track 7 forecast. Happy midday to you all. This is Storm Track 7 meteorologist Robbie coming already. He's got a hot and humid afternoon on the way for us for this Monday afternoon. Just like last week, the end of last week. Check out these heat indices mainly in the upper 90s, even triple digits as well. Uh, so definitely make sure if you're outside for a prolonged period of time, uh, just make sure you stay cool, you stay hydrated, seek shaded areas if you can, even air conditioned areas. Uh, that would be ideal, of course. But the good news is if you're sick and tired of the heat and humidity, we do have a cold front that's going to be moving on through. You can see this pretty drastic drop off in temperatures, heat indices at least. It's the lower 80s uh, by Wednesday and Thursday. Dew points are going to drop into the upper 50s actual air temperatures into the 80s, so that's why you're kind of seeing that drop uh, into the lower 80s there. But by Friday, it picks back up right around 90, so it is summer after all, of course, if you want to stay cool and hydrated. But outside of the heat and humidity, the other main story that we've got going on is this chance for some storms. We've got two time frames that we're looking at, that's the best way to put it. Uh, one tonight and another tomorrow afternoon and into the evening. And with this, there's a chance for some strong to severe storms, so we have this yellow alert day in play again for tonight and then tomorrow afternoon and evening. We're going to break each of these down for you first. We're going to go through the rest of today and tonight with Future Track, and then we're going to go back and take a look at tomorrow. That'll be in just a second here. So let's start off this afternoon again, mostly sunny to partly cloudy, really not all too much action to even speak of. We saw some stray storms this morning. I was ahead of the warm front. Could see another stray storm this afternoon. Just something to keep an eye on, but most of us will be dry. Here we are around supper time, maybe 6, 7 o'clock later on this evening. Partly cloudy skies still, no action to speak of. So you might be wondering, where is this? Where is this where's the storm chance that we're talking about here? So let's go fast forward to about 11, 12 o'clock midnight. Uh, if you look at the very top of your screen there, you'll see that bulge of red. There's a band of storms uh, that could develop across portions of northwestern Wisconsin, central Minnesota, for instance. That's expected to track to the south and to the east. Now, how far south and east that goes, that's the question. So here you go, you can fast forward in time to the early morning time frame. See that band of storms go just to our north and to our east. If that shifts south and west a little bit into our area, it's something we had to watch for in terms of some damaging wind threats. Uh, so I'll show you that risk in just a moment here. But for the rest of the morning, uh, Tuesday morning commute, of course, uh, we could see some, at least, redevelopment on the southwestern fringe of that band of showers and storms. Uh, you can see that across our southeastern locations. But otherwise, for the rest of the morning, we'll begin to dry on out dry on out rather under a partly cloudy sky this is ahead of our next chance of storms in the afternoon. But for the severe risk itself for tomorrow, again, you can really see that highlighted area, the level three out of five risk that was just upgraded. It does clip portions of Alamakee County, something to keep an eye on there, but again, main threats are damaging winds overnight tonight to the early morning hours tomorrow. See that level two out of five risk as well throughout a good chunk of eastern Iowa. But otherwise, for tomorrow, Key with this for tomorrow is that a lot of what happens tonight is impacted or is going to impact and affect what happens tomorrow. We are going to be tracking a cold front that will move on through, but any boundaries or outflows uh, that do exist from the storms tonight will affect what we see tomorrow. So let's go over this for tomorrow. Again, partly cloudy skies, still pretty hot and humid out there. You saw it with heat and disease just a moment ago. That cold front's going to be moving on through. You see 4 or 5 o'clock for our southern areas. Uh, some of those storms beginning to pop off. And kind of shifting off to the south to the east, 4, 5, 6 o'clock, still doing so as we move into, again, dinner time, just like later on this evening. Otherwise, that'll clear on out for Tuesday night into Wednesday morning, and we'll be pretty much in store for a very nice Wednesday on the way. I'll show you those numbers in just a second here. But for tomorrow's risk, again, level 2 out of 5 risk across a good chunk, good swath of eastern Iowa. We're looking at the chance for some larger hail, damaging winds as well. Can't rule out an isolated tornado or two, which is something to keep in mind. Uh, for the area tomorrow. Again, mainly for our southern area, say south of Highway 20. Now let's sum this up for you for today, outside of those storm chances. Again, hot and humid. Check it out. Upper 80s to lower 90s across the board. You saw those heat indices. Stay cool, stay hydrated out there. We got that breezy south wind as well. Yellow alert tonight, again, for that chance of strong to severe storms, mainly for those northeastern areas, like we talked about just a moment ago. Otherwise, lows by tomorrow morning, mostly in the lower to middle 70s. Uh, still hot and humid tomorrow, but by Wednesday, like we talked about, lots of sunshine out there. Temperatures in the upper 70s, lower 80s. Humidity drops as well. That'll be a nice change of things after this rainfall. We've had a lot of it this past weekend. More, here's a look at the rest to come through Wednesday morning. Again, the further north and west that you are, the less you will receive, it looks like. Further south and east, even to our north and east, uh, where it looks like the main brunt of that band of storms will move through. A little bit more for you there, upwards of inch and a half 
of rain. But again, by Wednesday we dry out. Thursday, same story. Next chance of showers and storms Thursday night into Friday, possibly into Saturday morning as well. But check out Sunday. Highs right around 80. Very comfortable. <laughs>